what's going on YouTube and we're back today for another video on YouTube of course so today it's going to be another player review this time on Hayton Nandez so he's just come out in the next batch of Foth Path to Glory cards um, as you can see it's only cost me 50,000 which isn't a lot um, he'll probably go down as well uh, over time during the course of the week especially with lightning rounds are coming out um, the card has only been out roughly one hour so we're just going to have a little look at it, see how good it is, if it's worth getting or not. Um, so he's 5 foot 8, high high, which is good uh, for where I'm going to play him. Right footed, 3 star, 3 star. So he's not your most glorious of players. Uh, I'm going to play him as a box to box midfielder. I feel that would probably be his best position. He hasn't really got the skills of the weak foot to play higher up the pitch. So have a look at his attribute details, 88 acceleration, 90 sprint speed, which is actually good. Very good for a midfielder. Obviously, we are nearly at the end of FIFA, so most midfielders need to have a good bit of pace. So yeah, he ticks the boxes there. Shooting's not bad, 85 finishing, 93 shot power. Attacking position's good as well. Long shots are average, 81. Um, the only thing that makes his shooting go down so much is the volleys and penalties, which are really low, but he's a midfielder. Um, he's not really going to take too many of them anyway. His passing's good, it, although it's only 86, obviously you can see, 96 short pass, 86 long pass, which is decent enough. That's mainly what you need him to do. The curve, I think, will let him down sometimes on them passes where there's not a lot of space and you want to just put it through to the players. I feel like the curve might let him down, but we won't judge him until we've played a game. The dribbling, this is the, probably one of the best things about the card. 95 agility, 95 balance, reactions 95. Them three stats there, very, very good, especially in the middle. You'd be impressed by the other team. You'd be able to wriggle away from someone. Ball control, 90. Dribbling, 88. Composure, 94. So, yeah. It's good stats so far. 88 defending. Defending's very good. The only thing that makes his defending go down is because he's got 67 heading accuracy. So, don't think oh, it's only 88 defending. It's actually really good. 91 interceptions and stand tackle. 89 defensive awareness. But don't worry. We're going to put something on that to boost it. Physical stats, very good. 88 jumping, 99 stamina, 88 strength, 99 aggression. So overall, this card, this card is not bad. He's got one trait outside of a foot shot, which makes up, to be fair, for him not having a four-star weak foot. I'm going to play him um, as a, like, in a box-to-box -box midfielder. I play 4-3-3. Three, three. We're going to go into rivals in a minute. He's going to play box-to-box. -box. He should be able to last a full game. Um, and let's see how we get on with him. So as you can see, so Nandez is going to play in a box-to-box -box role there with Javi and Zidane. Uh, let's see how he gets on in-game. So as you can see, he's very pacey already. This might be the only problem because he hasn't got that weak foot. Oh, he's won the ball back though. Oh, there we go. How about that? I was just about to say something bad. There we go. He went and won the ball back. One back the ball. One nil up. So you got a passing's good. We knew the passing was going to be good anyway. They've got a little mini bridge with him. Couldn't seem to get round the defender though. There's got a nice interception. Where he's so quick as well, we'll intercept the ball very well, which is good. There you go. So that was using his left foot, which isn't the worst. A more accurate player would have played it a little bit better than that. But there you go. He's followed up the attack. And there we go. We end up getting a goal from it. So he's been heavily involved in his first two goals. To the box. Can he finesse one in? No! Nandez! There we go, people. What do you think of that? There you go. You see a nice strike from outside the box. As you can see, he's so quick as well. 
like his agility, pace. So he's able to join the attacks like I'm doing now. I'm gonna pace. See, look, this is what I mean. I can drive through the middle with him. Here we go, he gets back again. Can he get himself a little assist? Dembele? No. Dembele let Nandez down there. As you can see, as I keep saying, so agile, so pacey as well. Look, he just gets away from Hullet. This is definitely one of his strong points, you know. He can go down the wing. So as you can see, we're now into the 70th minute. He's got 60 stamina. So he's put in one hell of a shift. Obviously, I have used him quite heavily. He's made loads of run forwards, loads of runs back. So that, that's a good amount of stamina. I am going to keep him on, though, but I'm going to have him on stay back while attacking. So I'll just switch him over with Javi. There we go. A little show of the outside of the foot there. So, as you see from the game of rivals we just played with Nandez, he's actually a very good card. But I have to be honest, he's not a top tier like midfield player. Obviously, he's only got three star weak foot, three star skill moves. But if you've not really got a lot of coins, you don't play the game as much as other people that play foot champs and rivals week in, week out. For 50,000 coins, this is a very, very good card. You know, as you see, he's very quick. He intercepts, he makes runs forward, and he's actually got half decent shot on him as well. Uh, five for eight, he fits like the meta of the game, nice sharp turns, very agile. Yeah, in the end, I put an engine on him as it boosts, as you can see, it boosts his pace, boosts his passing a little bit as well, which was good, makes that curve just a little bit more better, um, and just maxes out his dribbling. Obviously, depending on where you're going to play him, you might put a shadow on him, you might put a centre on him. It'd be entirely up to you, but for me personally, I'd put an engine on him just to boost his pace a little bit. Uh, but it's a very good all-round card. It's not far off really being a Hullet game card when you think of the stats and stuff like that. If I was to give this card a rating out of 10, it, it'd be a solid 8. I think it's more for the value of the money. 50,000 coins and you get a very good midfield player. Like I said, it's not a top-tier midfield player, but for 50,000 coins, for someone that doesn't play the game a lot, this is the sort of card you'd want your team. Just someone that can just sprint about the pitch, make runs forward, runs back. It's a very, very good card. But thanks for tuning in for the video. If you like the content, then like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I'm looking to do more player reviews. I'm on Twitch most nights between like 9 p.m. UK time to about 1 o'clock in the morning. We do pro clubs, rivals, foot champs. Just a mixture of things, really. Anyone could come and play pro clubs. It's all about, you know, bonding together with people. So, yeah, come and join in on Twitch. Thanks for tuning in, and until next time...